Hello beautiful people, this is Marcus Stimmel and this is Guitar Junkie episode 15 and we have so much time now to improve our playing, it's ridiculous. So here are my five basic thoughts on how you could improve your playing. This might be a little bit different from what your guitar teacher is telling you. I don't mean to offend anybody. I just have my own views and maybe it could help you. So let me play just for about two minutes on one of my uh, things that I just did last night. One of my little demos I did for an upcoming uh, new guitar album. And then we get into the matter. So enjoy! <laughs> So we're back. Point number one. Learn your five favorite tunes. Just write them down. Say, I love the Beatles. Okay, so... I love Queen. Yeah, everybody does. If you love it, learn it. So, point number two. What do you hate about your own playing? What I always do, I listen to recordings of my own shows. I record myself all the time. Anyway, but uh, shows are usually crucial because you're under fire. And suddenly you go, why is my intonation always off on this tune? Why am I dragging in this part? Why am I rushing? So, why is the sound not happening on this tune? What's wrong with my guitar tone? So, I try to analyze these things and work on them. Right? 
So, point number three. What do you like about your own playing? So this might be a shock to some self-destructive viewers. And uh, I probably, about five years ago, I would have never asked myself that question. But, why do we ask it? Because we want to improve our talent. And everybody has some kind of talent. You might be a great songwriter, you have a great knack for melodies or certain chords. You might be the greatest or funkiest rhythm guitar player, figure picker, technician, whatever. Improve your talent. That was point number three. Point number four is a bit different. What would you need in your wildest dreams if you would or had the chance to play with one of your favorite musicians of all time? Let's say you had a chance, uh, which unfortunately not possible anymore, to play with Jaco Pastorius, one of my all-time favorite musicians. Write down the list about the things that would not work out because you lack in certain areas. You'd say, okay, I need, I need to learn probably 25 to 50 jazz standards. And know him like this in order to jam with somebody like Jaco. So this is a challenge that never stops. Right? Number five is the most esoterical or philosophical if you will and this is you imagining in your wildest dreams again what would I like to sound like? What imagine yourself without playing the guitar or whatever instrument, what you would like to hear. And this is pretty much the same if you hear somebody else, but now you're looking at yourself. And this can make a huge, huge difference because, especially guitar players, we are always drawing from muscle memory. We learn the pattern. Yeah, we learned this pattern, and what, now what? Now the pattern is playing you, not you are playing some music. Anyway, enough rambling. This has been getting way, way too long probably. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit the bell button, comment, let me know what you would like to know from these Guitar Junkie episodes. I probably have some more time doing them. Enjoy. Be a good person. Peace.